Yo guys, what's going on? Hope you're doing fantastic by the way. My name's Wavy and today we will be covering gold in the blast furnace. Absolute easiest way. And right before we get started guys, almost 70% of my viewers are not subscribed. If you want to smash like, sub, hit that noti bell, you're going to help me greatly. Uploading tutorials, guides every other day. Once we smash a thousand subs and start a hardcore series and the giveaways are going to begin. Now let's get into the video. So if you didn't already know, smithing gold at the blast furnace is going to be straight EHP on our way to 99 and maxing. To access the blast furnace, we're going to need to start the giant dwarf quest to access Keldegrim. And in addition, for goldsmithing, we're going to want the goldsmith gauntlets and the ice gloves. If you have these requirements out of the way, we can take a look at our gear and inventory. I'm going to recommend bringing some weight reducing clothing, anything you have. We're going to want both pairs of gauntlets. Make sure you got a lot of gold in the bank. Stamina potions would help. And if you have the money, even a ring of endurance. We'll be utilizing the bank a lot, but our gear and inventory will look something similar to this, hopefully. And to speed up the process of banking, if you want to fill it with bank fillers and move your gold ore near the deposit inventory button, speed up XP a lot. Next, guys, if we are using Rune Light, I'm going to have some plugin recommendations to turn on if you'd like. One of the first plugins I'm using is the Blast Furnace plugin with all the options on. I also use tile indicators and object markers to highlight specific things in the room. Definitely preference here, but I'm using Entity Hider to hide players. And you could also turn on screen markers to make your clicks more efficient. And actually not a plugin, but it'd be helpful if we were using a Blast Furnace world, so make sure you hop to one of those. Best way to get to the Blast Furnace is going to be through the minigame teleport. And if that doesn't work for you, you can take the minecart from the GE. And well, if neither of those work for you, try and figure it out with this map. So at the Blast Furnace, if you are below 60 smithing, you're going to have to pay 2.5k every 10 minutes and that it to the Blast Furnace Foreman. And no matter your smithing level, we're going to have to pay 72,000 GP an hour using the coffer. Now that we've covered the requirements, the gear, the inventory, and some plugins, we can get into how to actually smith gold at the Blast Furnace the most efficient way possible. To start this method off, we're going to want to have 27 gold bars in the bar dispenser ready. Now let's slowly cover what a trip would look like. We're going to want a quick bank and stam if needed. Then we're going to close and click on the conveyor belt, make sure our ice gloves are equipped. You can if you want, right click the tile that we're going to run to, if not just click on it after. We're going to wait for our gold to deposit. And when it leaves the inventory, we're going to run in front of the bar dispenser. I like to start to hold down spacebar now. Once our true tile is in front of the bar dispenser, let's click on it. And then when the chat box pops up, let's equip the gauntlets and run to the bank quickly. If you didn't get this big XP drop or you got two, you did something wrong. And lastly, we're heading back to the bank and we're going to keep repeating this process, drinking staminas whenever we need. And truly, if you have low ping and you are one ticking all the required actions, you can hit 400,000 XP an hour without the smithing cape or max cape. Anyways guys, that's been a quick goldsmithing at the Blast Furnace Guide. I know there's a lot out there, but I don't feel like there's one that's short and sweet and actually covers everything that I wanted to, so that's why I made this video. My growth has been insane, and it's thanks to you guys. If you made it this far, thank you very much. Uh, leave a like if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you want to see more content like this. Hit the notification bell. It really helps me out. And I will catch you guys in the next video. I'm out of here. Later.